are gathered here today as friends, as family, as loved ones, but each of us as witnesses to the union between these two individuals, Claudia and Peter. Now, as the overseer of this proceeding, it is my first obligation to ask who presents this bride to be wed. I do. And with your blessings upon your daughter and her proposed suitor, it shall be as written that a man shall leave his father's house and become united to his wife in flesh, in blood, and in spirit. Also, as the overseer of this proceeding, it is my obligation to ask if there are any here today who feels that the union should not take place. And if so, to speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> then with no words of interference, let us continue with the ceremony. You may be seated. <laughs> so Peter, Claudia, I'm understanding that you're competing today, both as individuals and as a couple. Interesting, because you came here today as individuals, and you'll leave here as a couple. It's kind of interesting that you picked a place synonymous with working out to pick a lifetime workout room. Oh. Because essentially, a significant other, a spouse, is like a workout partner in some ways. When life gets heavy, so life get heavy, just like when the weight is too much for you, a workout partner is there to spot you, to help bring the weight off, to take the burdens of life off. In the same way, a good workout partner encourages you, motivates you, pushes you to get that extra rep, that extra set, maybe come for a, another workout later, cardio session. <laughs> a workout partner also holds you accountable. Sometimes you have those 6 a.m. workouts and you stayed out too late the night before and it's easy to want to just hit the snooze, maybe just shut the alarm off altogether, but you know your workout partners, they're waiting for you. And at 6.04, 6.07, 6.08, they're probably going to start texting you or calling you going, where are you at? <laughs> In the same way, a spouse is going to do the same thing. But if you find a good workout partner, they do motivate you. They do encourage you. And when life does get messy, they help you re-rack the weights. So I've been told that you have something you want to tell Peter before you take him as a lifetime workout partner. Is that correct? That's correct. I'm a little bit nervous, but I will try. <laughs> My darling. You have conquered my heart in a time when it was filled with grief, you know. But you have given me joy and happiness and all the love again. I love our life. I love our conversations. I love to laugh with you. But most of all, I do love you. You are my soulmate. I love you endlessly and more and more. <laughs> My beloved baby, from that day on, every day of our life, I will make you more happier. I will love you more and more. <laughs> and now, we have someone who can take those flowers for you. Hand those down, because you're going to need your hands. All right, you're gonna make your vows to each other now. Are you ready for this? All right, bring your hands together, and I'm gonna ask you first, ladies go first. Do you, Claudia, take this man, Peter, as your lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in good workouts and in bad workouts, <laughs> to love and to cherish until death do you part, I do. And do you, Peter, take this woman, Claudia, as your lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in good meal prep and in bad meal prep, <laughs> until death do you part? I do. We have some rings. these rings, they are symbols. They are gifts that you are giving to one another. Symbols that will show to everyone that you pass from this day forward, that you have committed your life 
to this person across from you. You have committed your life to one workout partner for life. You have a gift to give to Peter. As you place this on his finger, I want you to re recite after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. As a token and a gift of my love. As a token and a gift of my love. And my devotion to you. And my devotion to you. It shall serve as a symbol to all. It shall serve as a symbol to all. My undying love and unparalleled commitment. My undying love and my unparalleled commitment. To our unity as one. To our unity as one. All the remaining days of our lives. All the remaining days of our lives. He placed the ring on his finger. And you, Peter, have a gift to give Claudia, is that right? All right, same thing, recite after me. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. As a token and gift. As a token. And a gift of my love. And a gift of my love. And my devotion to you. And my devotion to you. It shall serve as a symbol to all. The church serves as a symbol to all. My undying love. My undying love. An unparalleled commitment. And unparalleled commitment. To our unity as one. To our unity as one. All the remaining days of our lives. All the remaining days. Oh, with this. <laughs> and now that the exchange of these rings has been completed, it's with the power vested in me by the state of California. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> to the world for the first time. Muscle Beach has something they'd like to give you, so we have someone to bring up right now. That's for you. Okay. On behalf of Joe Wheatley Productions and the City of Los Angeles Recreation and Parks and Muscle Beach, congratulations on your wedding. May your marriage be blessed with love joy and companionship for all of the years of your lives. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's with great joy that I'm able to announce to you and to the world for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Peter and Claudia Moore.